What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to hop on here real quick, do a quick comparison as I had promised you guys before between the half face blades subhuman piece of shit folder right here and the fixed blade version of it. Both pretty cool. I was lucky enough to be able to snag the folder and I guess I was even luckier to win the fixed blade version off of a raffle from Instagram. So, you know, kind of purchased this with my own money. I was able to score one. Luckily, I had really fast internet. That's kind of how I was able to do it. I'm pretty much on there, you know, a minute or two before noon on Saturdays when he drops his blades, and I've got really fast internet. So, I'm kind of lucky in being able to snag whatever blade that I want, depending on the price. And sometimes I usually have like five to 10 seconds to make up my mind. So that is that. All right, so real quick, you know, I've already done kind of a blade talk on this. If you're curious more about the specs and what I think about it, go ahead and check out my other video that's dedicated to just this one blade alone. But a real quick overview, eight inches overall, three inch blade, titanium handle, S35VN American Steel. So you got that there. And then we've got the fixed blade version, which is also eight inches overall, three inch blade, S35 VN steel full tang. So that's pretty cool. And the grind is different than the folder, as you can see there. Well, that's that. Uh, I also really, if you've seen my other videos, I also really do like the kind of jimping that he does on them right here if I can get it to show up right up here there we go yeah, I really like that something that he does not have on this one so it's your standard type of jimping so yeah you got that there alright so Kind of the two things that I would say that I don't really like about the folder is one, the pocket clip. The pocket clip isn't a deep carry pocket clip. I would have liked to see that. This whole finger groove, which is pretty big, does stick out outside of my pocket. And if you're carrying it in your pocket and you wanna bring it out, right, you can use that finger groove to pull it out. But once you do, you have to then re grip the blade to then come out and deploy the actual blade itself versus in the fixed blade right here if we get the sheath which the sheath is really really nice it's suede line so it's nice and quiet not sure if the microphone can pick that up but it's suede lined Let's see if i can get you can kind of see some of the suede in there all right, if this is inside my pant line and I want to deploy for whatever reason, I can go ahead and use that finger hole to draw the blade and it's ready to go. And again, with this, if it's sitting in your pant pocket like this, you grab it, you pull it out, and then you either have to rotate it or re-grip it, flip it open, so it just takes some time. It's not like, say, and I'm really sorry to drop this, this name in here, but it's not like an Emerson folder, which it has the wave. So like the karambit that I have for the Emerson lines, you pull it out. If you pull it correctly, it has a little wave feature here and it automatically deploys the blade. If I have my finger in the finger hole here, the blade does get stuck. So. I guess those are three things that I kind of, three little points that I don't really like about it. Other than that, still phenomenal folder. It's my overall favorite folder of all the ones that I've probably ever had. I've owned Emerson's, ZT's, Benchmade, Kershaw's, Microtech's, including all of the out the front ones that I've owned. I've owned a couple of European ones. I mean, there's just 
the list can go on and on of the folders that I've owned and this is probably by far my favorite folder. Only issue is once you go fixed it's really hard to go back to a folder. So that's that. I mean both are pretty much the same in length. Weight, obviously the titanium is going to be lighter but this is more expensive. This is cheaper and I feel like he drops a lot more of these than he does these. So that is that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing the whole nine yards. And like always guys, if you didn't like it, oh well, it's free content. All right guys, take care. Have a great night.